Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. In today's video, we will be talking about old Prada Beauty. Now, Prada Beauty has officially launched in the UK, in stores, and it has taken kind of over the beauty world a little bit. I've seen recently quite a lot now Prada Beauty on socials, on you know, on all the influencers and stuff. And I thought I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a review regarding the whole beauty collections of Prada and talk about a little bit Prada, you know, and it just gives you guys my personal opinions and thoughts regarding the stuff that they have launched. Now Prada Beauty. Okay, so nowadays, I don't know why that like mostly designer brands bring out beauty products obviously beauty is such a big business in the business world like you make a lot of money if you bring out beauty products as a brand and obviously brands have kind of realized that this is a huge market in the beauty world of course they bring out their own kind of beauty products now a lot of a lot of designer brands have beauty products such as Dolce & Gabbana, Giorgio Armani, um, you know, Valentino has brought out recently their beauty products and now Prada. Now, obviously there's space for everyone in the beauty world, but am I really excited for Prada Beauty? Not gonna lie, no, because I know that there are other brands in the beauty industry that have more success and more beautiful products already in the market. Now, is there something new that can that you can bring out that really is gonna blow me away and stuff like that? So it's quite, quite a challenge to fit in and obviously gain kind of your customers. Obviously, if you're into Prada or if you're into the brand, then you will love it. You're gonna buy something instantly from this brand, but it's quite difficult to fit into the beauty world with your new launches and your new products. Now let's break it down with categories. So I'm gonna talk about fragrances, skincare, and then makeup. We all love Prada fragrances. We I have reviewed so many Prada fragrances here in the past and I love it. Now there are a bunch of different co collections within the Prada fragrances. They have the Luna Rosa collection, they have the Candy collection, they have the Prada Amber, which I don't know if it's still out there or if it's discontinued. What else do they have? They have they have the Prada La Home collection. They have the Prada La Femme collection, and they have of course the successful that launched last year, Paradox. Was it last year? I think so. Twenty twenty. I'm not sure. I think last year. Yes, it was Paradox. Oh my God, Paradox is still popular. They've launched now recently the Paradox Intense, which in my opinion is obviously the same but more like a concentrated version of Paradox. You know. And they also have the Infusion collections, which is beautiful. My favorite is the Infusion Iris. This is the only one that I really like from the collection. It's more like a lighter, more refreshing version of different type of scents, which is inspired by flowers and kind of light ingredients such as mimosa, vanilla. Okay, vanilla is not that light, but you know what I mean? It's like an infusion of vanilla. Um, ylang ylang, um, Fleur de Orange, you know, these are the kind of things they have. And obviously they have their All Factories collection, which is the most strongest and the most expensive fragrances from Prada. They're around 250 if I'm not wrong. Price point, they're really, really beautiful. They're quite strong, they're very Oriental, Middle Eastern inspired fragrances, which come, oops, I nearly dropped my phone, which come in black bottles. And they also have the other version of the Old Factories collection, which come in the lighter clear bottles with a blue label, which are from the same collection, but more a bit lighter. I think overall Prada has nine different type of fragrance collections in general, if I'm not mistaken, or 10. They have a lot of fragrances, so they are quite successful in fragrance categories because people love them, people wear them, people already have their favorites, you know. I know that people have been wearing Prada Amber for years and years, so Prada is quite lovely in their fragrances and of course they had to bring out skincare and makeup to kind of complete the whole beauty collection. Now I'm going to talk about the skincare quickly. They have brought out their face cream, a cleanser and a serum. This is called, all of this stuff is called the Agomented Skin Face Cream, Agomented Skin Cleanser and Agomented Skin Serum. There's a bit of a technology within this range. Prada is known for the kind of 
I don't know, triangle logo, triangle technology and stuff like that. This is kind of inspired by the fashion into the beauty. The skincare is formulated from high concentration of naturally derived ingredients as well as Ata Atapto Smart Technology, I don't know what this is. This helps to protect the skin from environmental stresses while also continually renewing the top layer. The results are a plump, firm and radiant complexion. Prada Beauty or Prada, if you look at Prada fashion shows, their models are, have beautiful radiant skin, very plumpy, very natural. So maybe this is inspired by the fashion shows as well. So have their creams, they have, have their cleansers as well. And again, it has a very similar kind of results. It give you radiant skin, um, the cleanser get rid of all the impurities and stuff like that, giving your um, skin a lovely refining texture, delivering a supple feel and creating radiance. And I'm sure the serum does the same thing, you know. Um, so let's talk about the face cream again it's refillable which is lovely the refill is a 60 ml and i'm gonna get now into the price point the refill of the cream is 220 pounds for 60 ml and if you want to buy the actual face cream new it's a 60 ml of course you get the packaging and all of that it's 275 pounds my first opinion is too expensive way way too expensive for a face cream especially if you're new into the skincare world it's a lot of money it's like la mer money i think la mer is maybe even more cheaper than that or maybe like other brands like i know that la mer and agustinus beta or barbara storm are very high end but you can't compare those brands with prada because this is new into the market so the price point should be low cleanser 125 ml so a bigger size for 85 pounds and again too expensive cleansers like this price should be 40 pounds it should be a fraction of the price and the serum don't get me talk about the serum 30 ml and this retails for more serums are obviously 30 mils and this retails for 315 pounds and again way way too expensive 300 pounds for 30 ml serum from prada is very expensive overall it's not even like an anti-aging skincare properties because this is the price point for anti-aging skincare this only gives you a radiant glowing refining of skin texture and stuff like that I'm sure other brands for much more cheaper price point will do the same so I would definitely definitely skip the skincare because it's just not worth it because it's just way too expensive now let's talk about makeup now in makeup they're really really invested and they have brought out foundations lipsticks and uh, da, 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 eyeshadows yes I nearly lost my trail in my brain so let's talk about the foundation the foundation is called the reveal skin optimizing foundation and it retails for 49 pounds again 30 ml for 49 pounds I mean nowadays like my Armani foundation is like 45 if I'm not wrong so it's sort of the similar kind of price points but it's definitely a luxurious foundation what does the foundation do um, da, 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 luminosity, tone, texture, infused with vitamins and niacinamide. Okay, the lightweight formula helps to achieve a smoother and brighter complexion while brightening. Sorry, while bringing hydration. I don't know why I said brightening. Um, the brand's uh, in real life micro filter technology features a molecule that crystallizes once in contact with your visage creating a transfer resistant blurred effect for a perfect everyday base medium coverage luminous finish it's got vitamin c and e it illuminates and hydrates 24 wear consumer tests on 147 participants optimizes complexion and are made in france so overall the foundation has got good things not gonna lie and it's got really good reviews so far so i personally have not tried it but i'm really really intrigued to go and try it out the packaging looks very nice very lovely and different you know it's a refillable component so once it finishes you can go and get a refill and if you want to get a refill this refill is for 39 pounds you will save 10 pounds basically so yeah it's quite good really really good not gonna lie it comes in a bunch of different type of shades the shade range is good so this is the foundation it does not come with a mushroom concealer which i'm sure they'll bring out the concealer very soon maybe next year and i'll talk about the lipsticks 
Lipsticks again, a refillable kind of combination. It's good that the brand is really good with the refills, so the face cream is refillable, the foundation is refillable, and the lipstick is also refillable. So the lipstick reaches for £37 and the refill is £29.50. And it comes with different types of shades. It's got a lot of red tones. Again, I'm not like a makeup expert, but a lot of red tones. Prada is known for its red and it's a matte finish and um, yeah as I said the lipstick is £37 and the refill is 29 50 and it's a matte finish and yeah it's okay lipsticks are alright again I like the lipstick because it's got the Prada logo and it's kind of embossed lipstick like packaging really lovely and lastly let's talk about the eyeshadows eyeshadows are inspired by the fashion shows the different type of triangle kind of fashion shows bright colors oranges beiges reds eyeshadows are really really lovely uh, they're not refillable they come in four different type of shades packaging is really lovely again packaging is just got this kind of gold and silver combination really cool and oh yeah it's actually they're all refillable so the refill of the eyeshadow is 52 pounds but if you want to get a brand new eyeshadow this retails for 65 pounds so you will save around seven pounds which is quite lovely and again the packaging is really nice you come comes with different type of brushes like small little kind of gimmicky plastic brushes that you can use eyeshadow brushes and yeah Ooh, they do have a lip balm. How can I forget the lip balm? Lip balm is... I really want to try the lip balm. It's a bit pricey. It's £37, but comes in kind of lipstick format and it's more in the skincare category. So, yeah, really want to try out. It's the Balm Lip Oil Optimizing Care. 3.8 grams for £37. I want to try it because it's got the green Prada uh, color. Really like it. Now, last thing I want to talk quickly is the makeup tools. They have brushes, makeup brushes, and the makeup brushes, I would say, save you money because the same effect, I'm sure, my real techniques will do because the makeup brushes are very expensive. It's kind of usual standard makeup price points. Eye definer brush, 47 pounds. Lip brush, 39 pounds. Brown and line drawer brush, 47 pounds. Oh my God, that's so pricey. Uh, what do else do we have? Powder Sculptor Brush, £79. This is, I think, the most expensive brush, yes. Powder Diffuser Brush, £62. The brushes are insanely expensive, but I can see they're really, really good quality. I can see, again, it's got a gold and silver kind of packaging on it. Metal, really nice, and yeah. So overall, I would definitely suggest with the makeup to try out the foundation and probably the i would only suggest maybe the foundation because foundation is something that everyone uses on an everyday basis it's more like an everyday essential product on some people for the lipsticks and eyeshadows i would say if you want to try out a different type of lipstick or eyeshadow from prada or from this brand then go for it it's the same price point as like an armani or valentino or like a Laura Mercier kind of price point. These are the same kind of price points. In terms of the makeup brushes, I will skip it. 100% skip it. Skincare, as I said, skip. Please skip because it's just not worth it. Perfumes, if you love it, you can wear it. Any type of perfume you like. So overall, I'm not like massively, massively like wow or stunned by the launch, but I'm excited to see where this brand will go. Um, I really want to try out the foundation, so hopefully I'm going to try it very soon. And I want to try out the lip balm. This is the only things that I will really would invest my money into. And that's about it. So as I said, you guys, the price point is more on the luxury price points. And it has finally launched in the UK exclusively in Harrods and also in Selfridges. I have already tried all the stuff seen it in real life so don't you worry if i'm not showing you guys things i have obviously inserted some pictures on the screen i've already tried them i've already seen them they're really really good you know like it's obviously worth your money and if you are in london then definitely go and check it out on selfridges or in harris they have a separate prada beauty boutique i've done like reels shows and stuff like that so go and check it out if you want to see like an action so yeah, overall the boutiques are really lovely, I really like Prada inspired triangles and the Prada green and the Prada checked patterns are everywhere. So it's all about the brand, like analysts basically. 
All right, everyone. So this was it with this video. Do let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to try out something from Prada Beauty. I would love to do that for you guys. And if you guys have any more other questions regarding Prada Beauty, then do let me know in the comments down below as well. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Until next time, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.